So, uh, you know, starts off and says, today we have a Vladiv Vladimir, no, but, uh, uh, these Russian names. Vashkov. Vashkov. Kash Kashkov. 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 Okay. All right. Colonel of the GRU Military Intelligence Officer, a public figure with a PhD in military science. Good afternoon. Vladimir Velesovich, I, I know you served among other things as the leading researcher of the Centers of Defense and Strategic Studies of the General Staff of the Armed Forces. Considering your expertise, what do you make of the coronavirus phenomenon? It's exactly as a perspective that you need to examine it from, not from a public health perspective, nor epidemiology, etc. The coronavirus phenomena that they have falsely deemed a pandemic needs to be examined from the perspective of global powers. Religious, political, financial, economic, and national. The coronavirus phenomena, the so-called pandemic, and let me tell you, there's no pandemic. It's all a lie. Needs to be considered as a global strategic special operation. Wow. The coronavirus phenomena, the so-called pandemic, and oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's exactly how you need to think of this thing. These are our command and staff exercises of the world's behind-the-scenes powers on controlling humanity. This is what the goal of the coronavirus is. I'll repeat once again. We have little faith in God, even less in the existence of Satan, the enemy of the human race. So the aim of the behind-the-scenes Zionists and financial powers is reducing the world's population. It's their I ideal fix. It, they think there's too many of us ordinary people in the world. There should be around 100 million of their own kind and a maximum of 1 billion people on the earth to serve them. Then they'll be living in abundance here on earth. Because us, the people, the earthlings, there's too many of us for the behind the scenes world powers. This is why the coronavirus and the financial crisis that has emerged almost immediately, they're inexorably really tried to uh, one another. The aim is to stop people's movement around the world to curtail political freedoms. In political terms, it would be practically impossible to do all that there is, all the differences in uh, constitutions, whether they're being... Oh, what was that? I lost track. <laughs> I hate to miss a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so it's been good for a while there. <laughs> I lost track. Here, where to go? Yeah, this is it. Yeah. Oh, so in in political terms, it would be perfectly impossible to do all that. There are differences in constitutions, whether they're. Uh, being uh, impeded or not, that's the, is a different question. Implemented or not. Oh, how, however, there are some political rights that people are accustomed to and they believe they are theirs to have uh, forever. The first attempt is always to the, take the rights from the people happened on September 11, 20, 2001, 9-11. Not many seem to remember that after the so-called attack on the World uh, Trade Towers, uh, Pentagon and the White House in the USA 
the global war on terrorism was declared. Let's remember, in order to understand what the coronavirus is now, let's analyze that first. The declaration of war on humanity that was di disguised as a war on terrorism. That was 19 years ago. The behind-the-scenes world powers created the, the events of September 11, 2001, 9-11. Now, now they need their excuse for greater control and to take over of humanity. That's how they came up with the coronavirus. Basically, I put it this way, it's not a pandemic, not an epidemic. Even now, I literally looked up the uh, data this morning, 300 people in the world die from it daily. Yes, you can imagine what kind of scale this is. Of course, I'm sorry about each person who dies, but 300 people across 7.5 billion people, that's basically nothing. These command and staff exercises of the behind the scenes world powers have an aim to limit different political rights and to make people afraid. The fools are already grabbing food in the shops here. Millet, buckwheat, etc. Toilet paper? Yeah, even toilet paper. God. Why? The goal is to scare people. Once again, these are command and staff exercises of the behind-the-scenes Zionist and financial liberal world powers that aim to uh, of emitting the political rights uh, that the people are basically accustomed to having. especially in Western Europe. That's their second goal. The first goal is to reduce the population numbers on Earth. That's their satanic goal. The second political goal of the behind the scene world power is to seize power. The third goal is, is uh, related to the finances. Financial, uh, we, are all, we already know, at least those, uh, <laughs> it's going too fast. He's just getting excited. The second goal is the behind the scenes world powers to seize power, and the third goal is related to finances and the power over the economy. Financial, we already know. That's uh, those who are interested in this. Now for every uh, product that exists, please give me your pencil. Let's do an example. Okay, let's say this pencil costs you one ruble or a dollar. Let's say it's a dollar. For this uh, pencil, it was issued 20 times that amount in money, promissory notes, equities, and other financial derivatives. That means if you uh, take the real value of this pencil, one dollar, it comes from different paper that carries 20 times the value. According to the financial and economic relations that have gone from the real economy to this virtual economy. It's a financial bubble that exists now, which encompasses, I think, one quadrillion and two hundred trillion. It's complete uh, financial bubble. It needs to be deflated. FRS, the Federal Reserve System, literally some days ago, that was in February, I think, introduced a 0% interest on deposits. Now, in many countries, it's even negative interest rates. That is, you deposit $100 and you get $90 or $95, but at least you're, you still got it. So, we're going to be getting negative rates now on deposits, so 
the wealth has to be deflated. How, how will it be deflated? Again, through this artificial international, we see uh, the economy has crashed. It's clear accordingly. We can't meet our domestic demand uh, like we did before. You need to uh, tighten your belts, etc. Now it's a very important moment. Note, it's uh, allegedly started in China, even though the Chinese are now adamant that they report the coronavirus was created artificially. It has an artificial origin. It's been proven scientifically. Of course, it's a virus, seeing that it's uh, the simplest kind of microorganism. As far as I remember, mutations can happen but they're of an accidental nature. When you take the RNA mo molecule, not DNA, they have RNA, and there's part of a genome that's clearly been carved out and another one inserted in its place, and this happens three or four times. It's perfectly obvious that the Chinese scientists have figured this out and it was artificially created and the purpose spread uh, in, initially in Wuhan. They had two kinds, two viral strains. Okay, now, what about Italy? What happened there? How come a strain that was even more dangerous than the Chinese one supposedly appears in, in Italy? I think they have a few thousand infected and, and 1,000 have already died. But again, a hundred times more people die in Italy from the flu, uh, pneumonia, whatever that is, and hepatitis. Scuffola, I don't know what that is. But you don't uh, talk about that. Instead, we are being served specially political information, propaganda, psycho-information. Special psycho-information operation of the world global mass media that is starving behind the scenes Zionist liberal powers that are creating this terror now. This is why you need to deal with this phenomenon as we would a special operation that is conducted in the form of a command and staff exercises. Now they're looking who's obeying and who's not. In China they introduced strict measures, but then Comrade Xi went to Wuhan and put the pro-American party faction who took that road in their place. In China, not everything is smooth there. They have, let's uh, call that a pro-Chinese patriotic faction that's somewhat close to us, which is associated with Xi Jinping. And he's saying close to Russia. And there's obviously a pro-American ex uh, Cosmolo members that uh, are money oriented simply put it uh, they have their focus on the dough money and they of course tied uh, to use the coronavirus in Wuhan to gain certain economic and political benefits so, so I would just to stop there it sounds like he's talking about Fauci <laughs> the pro-American obviously right? yeah obviously yeah I mean He's describing a very clear and direct population control, fake pandemic designed to control and wipe out people. Because he said that there's too many ordinary people. Holy cow, that's a really powerful interview. Yeah. It's a, it, don't have, it only has a few more minutes, so we'll, we'll finish it out. Uh, the, the rest of it goes into this other video that's uh, talking about that God gene that they edit out with a vaccine. Wow. Right. So I think they're implying that that's part of the coronavirus in this video, but it's not him 
it's not part of this Russian interview, it's part of this video. But anyway, we'll finish the Russian video out. Cameron Z put them all in their place and consequently it was over when the virus, uh, the virus in China and then it started in Europe. So that's actually an interesting point. So Xi comes in, he, he clamps down on them, right? Stops it from spreading, mm -hmm. spreading around. But then it pops up in Europe and it's in Italy and it's a different strain. Right. right. More deadly. Mm -hmm. Right. So, interesting. According, accordingly, we, as military intelligence, look at who it is obviously and where it is also obviously uh, Europe and China are the two geoeconomic ad adversaries of the USA. And this is where they uh, injected the virus. This virus also had a fourth dimension as well, an economic one. The first was, uh, is religious one, destruction of the people on earth, reducing the population numbers. So that's the religious element, the way he looks at it. But the second is to establish political goal, rehumanity. The third is a financial deflation of the giant, gigantic financial bubble. Hmm. And the fourth dimension is an element of their geoeconomic uh, competition. And uh, this I'm telling you from a perspective of an uh, officer of the Center of, for Defense and Strategic Studies of the General Staff of the Armed Forces. Seems, I think like he has a good perspective on things, I would say. <laughs> he sure does, I'd say, yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. This is my assessment of, of the current epidemic. Vladimir Velesevich, you spoke with clarity and laid out the military style. Can you give us uh, predictions for the nearest future? In connection with the coronavirus, yes. What do you think? Which uh, countries would expect uh, pressure next? Russia, of course. It's going to be Russia, surely, because uh, for America, Russia is an economic competitor. Now, the uh, main efforts behind the scenes, world powers, are focused on causing disruption in China and Western Europe. And Russia is their target on two accounts. They want to reduce our population numbers and, and cleanse the territory. That is still to come. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty high level report. Yeah. You know, <laughs> he just out of the cabal. Yeah. I can't believe this guy walked out of the end of your life. Yeah, it's it's it, awesome. It, it, it is. It's totally awesome. <laughs> I, that's why I, I said it's well worth going oh, over this. Somebody needs to get that out. <laughs> like somebody. Maybe we know, need hey, to have it on our own platform. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> I forgot. That better get up right away. Yeah. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. We we really are in a break, aren't we? My gosh. Yeah. High level generals for. You know, coming out here and stuff like that, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, we've got, we've got a less than a minute left of him, and then it goes into that, uh, the God Gene editing. So, uh, we'll, we'll oh my get gosh, we'll this is a great video, yeah. Right, so, there we, let's go. So, of course, we would like to hear your opinion regarding the, uh, a practical plan of action, how to act, how to pr protect oneself, some recommendations. Dig a hole, bring a bunch of food, <laughs> he doesn't go there. Maybe it's not uh, your field of expertise of what to do, but maybe, of course, uh, you could tell us something. I am, of course, no epidemiologist, but uh, although I could say that I'm a, uh, what is that? Parasitologist? 
parasitologist. 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 Okay, there you go. They, uh, what, what is that? Do you know? Parasitologist. Somebody, somebody who knows about parasites. Okay, all right. Because uh, you have to be uh, one in order to understand the power structures in Russia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pretty funny. So I was speaking as a military do uh, doctor, uh, ep ep epidemiologist, uh, parasitologist, uh, until we're able to get rid of our internal parasites who rule over us, we won't be able to tackle other parasites. Wow. Yeah. This guy is a mic drop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, he is. It's, it's it's totally amazing, uh, you know. Interview. That's why I said it's really worth doing. And anything else we can, you know, I don't know, you know, focus on maybe other things he's done and try and I don't know we can interview. Him.